You know, guys, uh, it's almost uh, everything in this world uh, will have its ending. It's uh, just uh, a matter of time. And uh, this is basically the content of my video today. The um, ending uh, of my project, uh, our project, uh, the DR100W concept project. And uh, I'm a little bit sad actually that uh, it's unfortunate that it will going to come to an end. I have not uh, done much um, of the promise uh, of all the idea that is uh, lingering in my mind, uh, but the reality that uh, I have to end this project right now. And I hope uh, you guys uh, who is watching this video right now can uh, stay with me till the end of this video. Basically, it's uh, going to be like uh, looking back what had happened to the project. Um, it's like a, a tribute to this project, um, the digital class D power amplifier. I actually requested Sheila as well to join me to present a tribute video for the DR100W concept project, but uh, she's not available right now. So I am sorry. I was on holiday at that time. I'm gonna take a little bit of video. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a long video, so chill in guys, uh, get some uh, something to drink, uh, just uh, relax. Uh, I got my beer right now in here, and this is gonna be uh, my uh, partner while I'm uh, reminiscing about uh, this project. Uh, way back in uh, 2011, by the time that um, I'm an overseas uh, Filipino worker here in mainland China, based in Shenzhen. This is basically the time that uh, the Class D power amplifier is being sounding crazy in the forum, like uh, the elab.ph.com, I mean uh, elab.com.ph. Unfortunately, that forum, that electronic forum, has been uh, terminated. I cannot find anymore in the, um, in the website. Uh, but basically, in this forum, this is where the project uh, started. Uh, the guys, those uh, DIYers, uh, audio lovers, uh, the so-called uh, uh, audio aficionado, the spurious audio piler, and so on and so forth, uh, they wanted to experience Class D in a compromise uh, between a discrete uh, Class D power amplifier and a fully integrated um, solution. Uh, so uh, I was uh, asked to uh, make a feasibility study of that uh, and provide a solution to uh, our fellow hobbyists uh, in the Philippines. One of the good stuff is that uh, since I'm in China and I can easily get any solution that uh, we can agree them. And finally, the bottom line is that to cut the story short, uh, we voted the uh, Philips solution that's now called the NXP solution, which is the TDA 8920BTH, which is, uh, they claim to be like uh, several uh, uh, tens of power that uh, can deliver to the four ohms load. And this is where the project started. So uh, when we are determined that we want to experience about class D, then some guys get in touch uh, with me or I get in touch with them. And then uh, we form a team, that team now called the DR100 Watt team, which is composed of uh, five people. One of these is a student from uh, Mindanao at that time. He is a student uh, from Mindanao. Another guy is a Linux programmer uh, located in uh, Manila, the Philippines. Uh, another guy is uh, located in Taiwan an overseas uh, Filipino worker like me, located in Taiwan and also sometimes go to South Korea. And uh, the only Rose uh, within the team, her name is Anna. She is uh, e-commerce uh, uh, located in Shenzhen, China. And uh, the fifth person is me. And then uh, we form a group together and later on we called ourselves as the DR100 Watt team. Sounds like, uh, sounds like really professional. 
those were the days that way back in uh, the 2011, 2012, where we are really fascinated with the concept of a plug and play. So what we want to do is to have also a kind of plug and play for this uh, project that we are talking about. So we got like uh, five modules and what we wanted is a modular board that uh, will, when integrated together, will create a system. So uh, those uh, five modular boards, again, this control module, the digital equalizer, the digital amplifier, and the switch mode power supply, plus uh, its remote control. When put it up together, it will create uh, the project. That is the idea that we are thinking at the time. So the solution is that um, the main controller, the microcontroller that's coming from the STC, the name of the microcontroller is um, STC uh, 90C516RD+. Plus. That is uh, based from the Intel 851 core. It's an 8-bit microcontroller. This is the uh, main controller for other board. Um, and for the tone control, it's from ST. It's the TDA79449. That is a digital tone control controlled by I2C. For the equalization, it's from uh, Frystone. There is a PTA389, um, if I remember right. And uh, finally, the digital class D power amplifier is the TDA8920 BTH from uh, Philips or NXP. Those were the main chipsets in our solutions. Okay, and uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Um, and one of the primary requirements uh, for this course that um, we try to avoid SMT because um, in the uh, hobbyist uh, environment right now, it's hard to manage the SMT component. Although this should be quite good for us and it is easy for me to populate the SMT with the aid of that so-called uh, uh, SMT machines. Uh, but anyway, this has been decided that we're gonna use the actual and radial component, which means uh, the insert, insert type. About the design, who and who will going to design uh, the circuit, the PCB, and make the, um, what we call a bring up test. Uh, well, um, myself and Ariel, the guy I mentioned to you that uh, is working in Taiwan and sometimes in uh, Korea or come here in mainland China, in Shenzhen. Sometimes we met in Shenzhen or in Dongguan and then we talk about it. We go for some coffee, lunch, dinner and then um, finally cut it short at the end of the story. We finally able to um, identify the circuit and then uh, we ask uh, one of the guy who is not a part of the um, uh, DR100W team. His name is uh, Michelangelo who is working in Tianjin at the northern, at the northern tip of China who designed uh, the uh, PCB for the digital plus the power amplifier. That was the first board that uh, we were able to uh, uh, populate it. Uh, basically, it's uh, easy that um, in the e-commerce in China, there has been uh, several uh, TDA8920 BTH that uh, you can find it. Uh, and uh, basically, we pattern the design from uh, the e-commerce. We don't originally had that design because uh, anyway uh, Philips have the design reference uh, and then we adapt it into our needs. Uh, our meeting place in the internet is the elab.com.ph uh, and uh, someone decided that hey guys uh, why don't uh, we try to have a group buy and uh, the group buy is actually happened with about 100% uh, I mean 100 participants uh, and that was uh, managed by Noli who is uh, in the Philippines at the time and the component system the component system of the digital class D power amplifier was uh, prepared by Anna the uh, e-commerce uh, the e-commerce girl in Shenzhen China and then by Rika who happened to be my real inspiration about uh, this project. Uh, and that's it. Uh, we got a uh, hundred uh, uh, people participated in this group by with 100% bring up tests uh, and able to make uh, their DIY class D power amplifier working. That's really awesome, guys. That's really awesome. That's uh, 
the first group buy that we have at elab.com.ph in the Philippines. The biggest challenge actually is the uh, tone control, the digital tone control and the uh, control module, which uh, we were not able to deliver on time because uh, it requires a firmware. So uh, the firmware, nobody uh, can able to handle that time. We are all busy as an overseas uh, Filipino worker. So that's the biggest uh, challenge or the first challenge that we met um, as a group. And although uh, there is a Linux programmer, he's also busy at that time. And uh, we end up of not uh, able to deliver what uh, we are we are promised uh, to deliver to match um, the digital class D power amplifier with a digital tone control plus uh, equalizers plus of course that uh, human machine interface uh, on the LCD. That was uh, unfortunate. That was a really unhappy moment. But uh, in those years, uh, in those coming months, uh, I started to get in touch again with Ariel um, and uh, talking to my friends Arnold also, who is uh, used to be a programmer for the Intel 8051. I get some, um, some advice uh, from him. And then uh, me and uh, the other guys in the Philippines, like uh, uh, Romel, who is, was a student at that time, knows also about programming, and Nori. Then uh, cut it short, uh, we were able to deliver the project uh, one machine interface uh, running by an Intel 81 microcontroller. And uh, that was the happy moment. Uh, it was like uh, happened uh, a year later from uh, our promise. Uh, it was really fun, I would say. There is no money involved on it. There were no uh, group buys about it. And uh, the hard thing actually is that uh, because uh, there's involved of a software programming wherein audio hobbies is not so simple kin of it uh, or they don't want to dive on it. Uh, and uh, that was a little bit uh, difficult and frustrating that we work hard, uh, but no one used the solution actually. Or that, that they don't even like the digital tone control because uh, of so many reasons that um, it comes with uh, lots of impurities. It will degrade the signal. It will degrade the audio. So those kinds of debatable uh, reasons that uh, most people did not uh, buy it or did not bought it. But some of our closest friends uh, tried to obtain that solution. And uh, eventually, we got some uh, few people um, uh, buy that solution from us. When I say buy that solution, I should use the word get that solution from us and we supply the PCBs, the DIY parts, and then they do the DIY assembly by themselves. Until then, when I was working in Motorola, that I think of making a book about it write down the um, the R100W concept power amplifier and make it an official book. Then I start writing it. The unfortunate thing is that um, I'm not able to um, to get a permission from uh, these uh, chipset makers uh, to use uh, their product in that book. So um, I abandoned that. It's unfortunate. And what was happening actually is that uh, I created a YouTube channel. This is now called the DR100W Concept Power Amplifier, where I can freely uh, share my experience, our experience with this uh, concept project. And that is why we have this uh, YouTube channel.